few days ago, my son was playing with Lego and he wanted me to make a stamping mechanism for a machine he was building. One thing led to the next and we ended up building a dot matrix printer, which you see here. Printer resolution is about 13 by 13 dots, mostly limited by the width of the pen. The angular resolution on the motor is about 5 to 10 degrees, and it goes through a 1 to 22 reduction on that worm gear. So the practical limit for the resolution is about 280 or so pixels both the horizontal and vertical axes. You'll notice that when the motor moves the slide backwards it turns and reverses slightly. This is to take up the play or the interference between the, the pin and the edges of the, the pieces. Here it is from the side. You can see the, the back motor as well as the side motor moving the pen forwards and backwards and left to right. You can also see how the slide moves left to right with the motor that moves the pen up and down. The back, you can't really see very clearly, is the computer controlling everything. Something else that has to be considered using this design. This mechanism that moves the slider is not a linear motion. Basically because it's, the pin is moving in an arc, the slider by itself doesn't move by the same distance for the same amount of rotation on the wheel. So we have to do a little bit of simple geometry to calculate how much that pin needs to rotate to move the slider by a constant amount. And all that takes about five minutes to print this image.